it's Mako, it's so nice to see you here. One of the main problems we sometimes all have is that we feel like we don't have time to do anything. We tell ourselves that we will paint or start our new creative business, learn something new, or do something completely different after we did this, this, and that. But in reality, once you've done all those things, new things come up. And again, we feel like we need to get them done first. But what I've learned after feeling like I'm stuck for quite some time is that it's all about priorities and being aware of the things that you say yes to. Time management is basically energy management. That's why it's important to really recalibrate. Meaning, think about what is really important to you. What are your goals and dreams? Time is your most valuable asset. If you think about it, every second, every minute we lose will never come back. And that's scary. So your time is really valuable. The time you spend doing things that aren't important to you, that don't bring you closer to your goals and the things you want to accomplish is basically a wasted time. So write down what is something important to you in your personal and professional life to really see where you should focus on. For example, you can write down you want to spend more time with your family, to focus on your health, to start a new hobby, improve on something, start a creative business and become self-employed. Write everything down to be really aware of those things. Now, having a to-do list is not only a great way to stay focused on what things need to get done, but also to keep your head free from constantly thinking and remembering things that you need to do. This way you can use all your brain energy to focus on the important things. A great source to learn how to create a system that works for you is Skillshare. They're sponsoring today's video and I'm really happy about it because I actually learned a ton about time management and productivity on Skillshare. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's basically an online learning community for creatives with more than 26,000 classes in design, business, lifestyle, and more. And you can get access to all the premium content for less than $10 a month. I added an awesome playlist and different videos all about productivity and time management that go into these topics in more detail and also show you different tools you can use. You can find links in the description box down below. So if you want to get unlimited access to all the premium content I just mentioned, check out the link in the description box down below that will give you two months for free. Now, before you write down a huge list of things that you want to cross off immediately and start working on, you want to really prioritize where you want to put your time, energy, and focus on first. Sometimes we fill up our to-do list with every little task that comes to our mind and we just start crossing things off one by one. While you think that you need to get these things done right away, if you think about it, sometimes they're not really that important to you compared to your goals and dreams that you wrote down earlier. Now, sometimes there are important and urgent things that absolutely need to get done immediately, but usually, as I said, we tend to fill up our to-do list with things that need to get done, but they can be done at a completely different time. And because tasks that you would need to get done to achieve your future goals might not seem urgent at the moment, you feel like you need to cross things off of your to-do list that will give you a sense of productivity, but they don't really move you closer to any bigger goal that you have for yourself. They simply just make you feel busy. There is actually an amazing technique you can try out if you haven't already, and it's called the Eisenhower Matrix. You basically want to get aware of all the things that you're doing and figure out the things you really should be focusing on. So for example, you finally want to learn how to paint or do something completely new to you. And you want to find time to paint and to relax. Or maybe you want to create your Etsy shop and sell your art one day. It's important to you, but because selling your art requires additional steps that you need to take before you can actually launch your shop and it'll take some time, it doesn't feel really urgent to you. So on the grid, you can see it's important, but not urgent. So what you would need to do is to actually schedule the time into your calendar so you can actually block out time to do the things that are important to you. What's not in your calendar, it's not real. And if you have things like watering your plants or cleaning your home, they might seem urgent, but they're not really that important right now compared to working on your goals and dreams. So what you can do instead, you can ask for help. 
you could schedule the time to work on your projects and ask your partner to do a few things for you because working on your business or your new hobby is really important to you but you simply can't do it all. So maybe he or she can help you out. Or you do this yourself at another time. Or if something is not even urgent nor important, you can completely get rid of this task or put it as your last to-do onto your list. Being aware of what is really important to you and what you need to focus on is a great filter you can use to really decide, is this something I really have to do? Is this important to me? Does it bring me closer to my goals? Now, this is a process. I'm still learning and I give my best to say no to more things. I try to really focus on things that move me forwards towards my goals now. Now, in the beginning, it was really difficult, but the more you practice this filter and the more you're aware of what's important and what's not, it definitely gets easier. Another great way to be more aware of where you spend your time is to really track your time. Notice where you spend your time, how long does something take for you, what can you get rid of or be more efficient with. Identify personal time wasters and cut down on distractions. When I did that, I was really shocked how much time I was wasting on certain things. Like I was noticing I was wasting one hour on my phone in the morning, the first thing in the morning. This wasn't important and it was definitely not urgent. So to get rid of this habit, I got myself a proper alarm clock and I have my phone far, far away from me. So I don't even think about my phone now. When I work on something, I also have my phone far, far away from me. So I don't even get distracted by it. Having a list of all the things you do and how long it takes for you to do something puts everything into perspective and you can clearly see where you're wasting time, what you can delegate, what you can automate or just get rid of. Maybe you spend three hours buying groceries every week. Maybe you can look into ordering groceries online if you can. Maybe you spend hours cooking every day. Maybe you can do meal preps once a week on the weekend so you don't have to think about cooking for the whole week. Maybe you get stuck talking to someone for one hour while you think that you could really use this time to work on your art and on your goals. So you will need to find a way how you can cut this time and create boundaries. Just be aware of where you spend your time and get really creative with the way you can spend less time on something and make things more efficient for you. This brings me to the next point and that's scheduling your time. Having a list of all the things you do on a daily basis also really helps to be aware of how you can be more efficient with your time. For me, I learned this technique on Skillshare where you basically divide your week into themes. So on Monday, you could have painting days, on Tuesday, writing days, on Wednesdays, taking picture days, and editing days on Thursdays. So this way, you group similar tasks together and block the time into your calendar to work on the to-do for that day. And if you didn't finish everything, you simply move it to the next week. So you constantly make progress in any area you want to work on, and you don't get stuck on one thing for the whole week. But you don't have to dedicate one whole day to do one thing. You might not even have a big chunk of time every single day to do something, but that's okay. That's why it's super helpful to break things down into smaller tasks and schedule them into your calendar. Instead of feeling like you will have to paint the whole day, which you don't have, you can tell yourself that you'll paint for 10 or 15 minutes that day. The next day you will work on taking pictures or maybe you want to even dedicate the whole week of 15 minutes every day to paint. Whatever works for you, really. For me, having scheduled time blocks in my calendar really helped me to do deep work and to focus. I don't have to constantly switch between 10 different tasks because this only makes me feel tired and it doesn't help me make any progress in anything because I can stay focused and get into a workflow. And eliminating distractions like your phone, closing flat open tabs in your browser, really helps to stay focused even if you only want to focus on something for like 30 or 60 minutes. But the more you block out your time in your calendar, the more you'll be aware of the time you can really work the best, meaning you'll notice exactly where you can spend the time for creative thinking or something where you don't have to think much, where you can just sit down, relax and paint. I personally use Google Calendar, so even if I block out time to do something, but that day I just simply don't feel like doing it, I would rather do something else on my list, I can simply swap things around. 
So look at where you are effective, where you're not, how long something takes, be aware of your natural rhythm and just adjust along the way. But the most important part of scheduling your time is to really protect it. If something is important to you and you want to get this done because it moves you forward to your dreams or because you finally want to establish a daily or weekly painting routine, make your schedule time a non-negotiable. This means saying no to distractions and no to other people who want something from you. Because if you only focus on what others want from you, you'll never have time for you and what you value. If you really want to do something for someone else, you can totally do that after you have accomplished your personal task that you scheduled. I had this problem when I became self-employed. To my family, it seemed like now I have all the time in the world, I can be flexible. So I actively had to train them by saying, no, I can't do this now. No, I can't go there now because I have to work right now. And the more I did that, the more they respected my time because they learned that my scheduled time is important. And I'll make time for my family, of course, but they know that they just can't pull me away from the things that are important to me. So if it's important to you to finally have time to paint, read, learn something new, work on your business, schedule this into your calendar and protect it by practicing the art of saying no. Lastly, don't forget that you're not a machine. You're constantly learning, reassessing and improving. What works now might not work later and that's totally okay. It only means you need to make time to plan, to recalibrate, to reassess, to figure out what can you change and improve. Let me know in the comments below what time management techniques work great for you and which don't so we can all help each other out. Don't forget to get your two months of Skillshare Premium for free with the link in the description box down below. I really hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!